Hey there, it's Larry Lursey. Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add a tattoo to someone's skin in Photoshop. Before we get started, if you haven't done so already, please take a second to like and subscribe. Uh, it really does help, and I'd appreciate it. Now, let's jump right into the tutorial. We've got our model right here that we're going to use, and we're going to add this rose tattoo to her shoulder. Now, you'll notice that the tattoo is on a transparent background. You do want to start with line art that's on a transparent background. If that's something you don't know how to do, I will do a tutorial and show you how to get rid of the background. But for now, we're going to assume that you've got um, some art like this to use. So what we're going to do is go ahead and place this on top. Just drag it over into this document. Now it's not positioned how we want, so we're going to have to transform it. So we're going to do Command T, uh, Control T on the PC. And we're going to rotate size it to how we think it would look good on her. Um, I'm going to do maybe about like this. I think that works pretty well. Let's get in a little closer so we see what we're doing. That works great. Now you'll notice that we're starting to overlap a little bit uh, off of the skin, but we're going to fix that later in the process. So there we go. There's the very basics. If you want the uh, super easy way, I guess you're done at this point, but we're going to try and make it a lot better than this and keep on trucking. So first thing we need to do is it's too flat. It looks just like it did on the paper. This is not a flat surface it's going on to. We've got muscle here, we've got some valleys here. Uh, it's not an even surface, so the tattoo should reflect that uh, movement. So we're going to do that with liquify. So we're going to go up to filter, liquify. Okay, so here we are inside liquify. We need to do a couple of things before we get started. First, we're going to bring it up to 100% so we can see what we're doing. Then we need to come over here, make sure you've got show backdrop checked, change the use to background, behind, and 50% is fine. So now we can see the, uh, a kind of faded version of the tattoo, but we can see what's going on behind it, and it will allow us to see um, the areas here, the lighter areas where there's muscle. It should be a little distorted, you know, moving toward us. Some of the shadow areas should be kind of moving away from us and that kind of gives us an idea of what we're trying to do. We're going to start out here with the bloat tool. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to use my bracket keys to decide on a um, pretty good size brush. And what I want to do is anywhere that we're on top of the muscle here, I'm going to kind of just distort it a little bit this way. Just kind of expand all that just a little bit. Here in the shadows, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to come here to the pucker tool and I'm going to click a few times in these areas to make this a little smaller where it's moving away from us. Maybe even that too. Okay, final thing we're going to do is go up here to the forward warp tool and we're just going to kind of distort things overall a little bit. I think, you know, it, it, it's not usually going to look entirely smooth and just like the photograph when we when we see the tattoo. So I'm going through here and just kind of distorting things just a touch. And there's not a right or wrong here. You've just kind of got to do it to taste until, um, like I say, you're happy with the look. And I think that's pretty good. Let's um, hit OK. All right, just to kind of show you before and after, that's where we were that's the after. And you can see it just has a little more motion to it and seems to be fitting on top of the skin a little more than how it was before. All right, so far so good. Next thing we need to deal with is where we're overlapping here off of the skin. It could also be if you were going onto the clothing, onto a watch, or whatever. And so we just need to clean that up. And probably the best way to do that is over here with the uh, creating a mask. So we're just going to click right there and that's going to create this mask. I need to, I'm going to hit this button here, the black white. I'm going to flip them. I want black to be at the front. Then I'm going to select a brush. Make sure I've got a soft round brush going. Make sure my opacity is at 100%. And I'm just going to come over here and erase this off the top. Just like that. We'll make sure none of it's hitting the clothing there. 
stop just like that. If you go too far and accidentally erase some of that, you can just switch your brush to white and, uh, and paint it right back in. But that's pretty good. Now we've got that disappearing over the shoulder. No other problems with that. I think we're happy. Now, a couple more things to do. First off is it's very sharp. You know, generally the tattoo is not going to be as crisp and sharp as it is on the page. So we need to soften this down a little bit. So I'm going to come over here. First off, I want to make sure that I've got the tattoo selected and not the mask. And I'll come up here to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Now this is going to be really a judgment call on how much to do it. So. I think point uh, nine's pretty close. There's one. I'm thinking about one point two for this particular one. Maybe one. Maybe one point one. Draw back just a touch. I think that's pretty good. I think one point one was enough. Sometimes it may be as much as one and a half or two. Maybe as low as one or even lower than that. But just a little bit softener again. Let's look at the before and after. There's before. Definitely looks more like it's sitting on the skin now and not quite as photographic. Then the final step we're going to do is it's too dark. It's a little too... Um, doesn't really look like it's on the skin. It just looks like it's hovering above the skin to me. So what we need to do is adjust our opacity over here. So we're going to click this little down grab here. And we'll try different things until it starts to kind of blend in with the skin. I think about 85 looks good. Let's leave it there for now. While we're here, let's change this blending mode from normal to overlay. Come back to our opacity a little bit. I think maybe come down just a touch. It's about 73%. Again, it's going to vary depending on your image. That gives you a pretty good looking tattoo. Just took us a few minutes. And, you know, this is one of those things that you could go in at this point and um, you could either distort it a little bit more if you thought it needed it. You could go back into that mask and maybe um, soften the edges a little bit just until it started looking realistic. And we'll go ahead and do that real quick just because some of these edges would probably not show up um, this clearly. So I'm going to switch back to my mask, get my brush back. I'm going to make sure I'm on black. Let's close that. Make sure I'm on black. And I'm going to take my opacity down to about 20%, 19. And just kind of brush over these edges just a tiny bit where they wouldn't be quite as crisp. There we go. Drop back, that's good. So there we go. Pretty realistic tattoo. I hope that helped. If it did, please consider taking a second to like and subscribe and click the little notification icon. And we've got some great content coming up over the next few weeks, and I hope to see you back soon. Take care. Bye-bye.